Okay, we're taking a look at an example here, and uh, uh, you can see how there is an apical and basement part of this epithelial tissue, and uh, we're looking at ciliated cells uh, and secretory uh, cells, and uh, so notice these very important types of cells. Remember that I said above that uh, one type of cell uh, that could be ciliated um, could also have a what seemed to be a false layer and uh, we would call that pseudostratified one example of that is what you would find in the um, in the throat where you would have pseudostratified columnar epithelium which is ciliated anyway we're going to talk about that more later but here notice how we have a nucleus and the cilia and that um, it says the cilia on the free surface that beat in synchrony to move substances such as mucus across the epithelial sheet. Uh, and the secretory cells are found in most epithelial layers, and these are specialized cells that secrete substances onto the surface of the cell membrane. So that's a very uh, simple introduction there, but very important stuff. Thinking about the basement membrane, let's look at that for a second. Look how it is situated, and it's very complicated in its makeup, but the major point we want to remember here is that the epithelial cells lie on what's called the reticular lamina, and this is collagen, connective tissue, and the reticular lamina is bound to another connective tissue, which is called areolar connective tissue. And together, the structure is called the basement membrane. So once again, the uh, epithelial cells lie on the reticular lamina. And the reticular lamina is bound to another connective tissue called areolar connective tissue. So there we have it. And remember that connective tissue uh, can be innervated, is innervated, but does not have blood vessels. So let's move on and we're going to talk about some different types of epithelium.